I'm a member of the baby boomer generation. I know that because I was born in the 1950s, that I have a certain way of looking at life, that there are certain values that I've carried with me from my generation, and that it shapes the way I live my life. I also am aware that people from younger generations grew up in different contexts and different ways of understanding things. And sometimes I, I just don't get some of where the differences are. And I know I have to be careful not to impose my generational views on others. I've wondered how it is that people from different generations understand religion and spirituality. And part of that wonderment is that I grew up at a time when religious institutions were very predominant in American culture. Uh, and in addition to that, I grew up at a time when the word spirituality really wasn't known by many people. It was something sort of unheard of, and it wasn't until the 80s and 90s that people commonly started talking about spirituality. So I thought it would be interesting to interview a group of millennial people and ask them about their experience of religion and spirituality. The Pew Center for Research defines the millennial generation as people born between 1981 and 1996, the time when spirituality language became pre predominant in American society, or at least prevalent in American society. So I interviewed a group of people to find out how it was that they understood and experienced religion and spirituality. And I found some very common themes in those interviews. First, in terms of religion, those individuals that I interviewed described religion as something about an institution, an organization, to which someone belonged. And by belonging and participating in a religion, one accepted a way of looking at life that was based on behavior and beliefs that had been prescribed so that it was about conforming who one was to what the institution expected. They compared that to spirituality, which they understood as being very personal, whereas religion provided answers for life. They understood that spirituality was about asking your own questions and trying to resolve those questions and finding answers that were appropriate for you. The majority of the people that I interviewed left the religious context if they were raised in a religion. Not all of them were raised in a religion, but those who were left whenever they, they finished high school and were in early adults. And they said that the reason they left predominantly was that they saw that the way people treated others outside of their religion was not the way they thought people should be treated. They saw a lot of judgmentalism around sexual orientation, condemnation about abortion, a lot of distrust of immigrants and people from different ethnic or racial groups. And they thought this didn't mesh up with and wasn't congruent with the understanding of what the religion should be. They wanted to live by better values than what they saw in religious people. They, they found themselves more accepting of people and of diversity, even people in young people in rural settings, millennial people who were from rural settings, were really concerned about how others were treated and perceived. Uh, and I found that very interesting. What I was surprised to learn was that while they knew about spiritual practices like meditation and yoga, they weren't, those practices weren't part of their life on any regular basis. Instead, they found that their spiritual connection came from either one of two sources and sometimes both. The first was being in nature, that being out and being alone in nature helped them feel connected with something beyond themselves. The other was through art. Through music, whether it was listening to music or playing an instrument or singing in a group or writing, writing poetry or writing a journal or doing other creative things, drawing, painting, performance, 
all of these things help to draw them into a sense of what they understood as spiritual. Their spirituality was important for them in terms of their connection with other people. They gravitated towards friends who were like-minded around spirituality in terms of having similar values and similar outlooks, but also in terms of raising their children. For those who had children, it was important to raise them with values of acceptance, of respect for others, of care for the earth, and of what it meant to lead a good life. I found it very interesting to interview all of the, the people from the millennial generation that I talked to and found that their experience was deep and rich and unique and different from my own. I think research in spirit, about spirituality in various generations, as well as research within subgroups within generations, like racial and cultural groups within each generation, is something really worth pursuing. It's something that I'd like to see more researchers do. But overall, what I have found in my research is that even though how people organize spirituality in their life may differ, that often for many people, there is an importance about living life in a way that's based in values, that brings meaning, the desire to live a purposeful life, and, and a desire to have values that, that impart some goodness in the world. While I always appreciate comments, I hope with this video that you'll leave some comments about how you understand spirituality in your life, particularly from your particular generational standpoint. Be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring that bell so that you're notified of future videos. Thanks.